Okay, just a quick little video to make sure you know how to draw uh, a section of the plasma membrane or the cell membrane. Um, remember the word amphipathic actually means that phospholipids have hydrophilic and hydrophobic properties. So not a difficult diagram to draw. I just think of them as little lollipops. Each lollipop has two actual handles. For more information about the actual structure, what these things actually do, what amphipathic means, and how that contributes to the stability of the plasma membrane, check out some of the other videos. But this is just a quick labeling thing. So you're going to draw a bunch of these lollipops, and you're going to draw some large protein things that go all the way through, some that don't go all the way through. You can attach a few things. These little dots and little molecules are not that necessary. You do need to include something like like this little slug inside here as well too. But the labels are pretty straightforward, so let's just take a look at some of the things. Here's a little box you can read for some extra information about what amphipathic actually means. So over here, you have your phospholipid bilayer. So make sure when you're labeling this, you're actually spanning across the entire uh, bilayer here. Um, an individual phospholipid molecule Inside here, you have a protein that goes all the way across. The proteins can come in many different forms. They have many different functions. There's another video that lists all the different functions of these proteins, so make sure to take a look at that. So this is a, a membrane pump. It's idea that it's a pump means that it requires some ATP. You don't have to draw ATP, but if you label it as membrane pump, then everyone knows it's supposed to use energy to move things against their concentration gradient. You've got cholesterol in there, which helps um, facilitate the fluidity of the membrane as well too. This is the specific hydrophobic tail. This is the hydrophilic head that likes water. The tails don't like water. And then you have a protein channel here to help things get all the way through. You can also have another protein. Some of these other proteins are just bonus proteins that you can throw in there if you, want, if you really wanna show that you know that there's a bunch of different things that exist in the plasma membrane. So this protein here is a glycoprotein. I would draw this. This is kind of like a chain of carbohydrates attached the protein therefore it gets the name uh, carbohydrate protein or glyco protein and then over here you can have another protein which can have many different functions you can call it an extrinsic protein versus an intrinsic protein an extrinsic protein is just a protein that's attached to um, the edge of a cell membrane or it's only partially Im embedded inside the membrane it doesn't go all the way through so this is not this big guy here with a little curvy nose is not an extrinsic protein. It could be an enzyme, it could be an electron carrier. Uh, there's all kinds of different functions that it could be, but these are kind of, this is kind of like a bonus protein just to kind of show off that you know how to draw these things really well. So you're expected to know how to draw a section of the membrane. If I got a question like this on the exam, I would be super excited and thinking about lollipops with two handles.